Guys, you're a new player, returning player, solo player. It doesn't matter what kind of player you are. You're playing this game, you're a division agent. And the first thing you do is you make a build. And I know you're going to make a DPS build. By all means, do that. But you got to have a skill build. Like, seriously, you have to have a skill build in your loadout. Why? Well, first of all, they're easy to make, easy to play with. And guess what? They're easily clear content. And you can actually do that with enabling directives on them, which makes you, you know, get more rewards or XP at the same time. Like, if you're a skill build player, your world needs to be on heroic and with at least three directives. Anything less than that, then what are you doing? Like, seriously, what are you doing? Okay, so today I'm going to show you some of my weird skill builds which I recently made. And maybe, who knows, you'll end up liking one of them and, you know, make them. So, let me show you. So as for my first variant, I actually like to use this particular setup a lot because it allows me to change my skill uh, according to the mission that I'm playing and where type of situation I'm at. You know, it, it just uh, gives me that flexibility. That's what I actually like about it. So this is pretty much what I use. Now, it may look a little bit weird and don't worry about the exotics. I'm going to give you alternatives, which if you're a new player, a returning player, you don't have to feel sad about it. I'll give you the alternatives. Now, as for this specialization, I do use the demolition here because it gives me the artillery turret. The artillery turret is what I like a lot in this setup because I can just swap my skill, my turret, the soul turret to the artillery turret. Depends on the mission. So if I'm in, let's say, a uh, legendary mission district in an arena, outside the arena, I can just use the turret, the normal soul turret, and I can take out the targets. But when I'm in the room inside the building, I can just swap it to an artillery turret and go boom, boom, and just take them out easily. I'm trying to hit that middle ground with this particular build where I'm not, you know, diverting to but one skill or the other, but I can use both of them in the same way, which is what I actually like about uh, this particular setup. Now, as for the weapon, I am using the Harmony over here, which is a named weapon I know. It gives uh, perfect in sync talent, the perfectly in sync talent, which pretty much a 40% of skill damage and weapon damage just by firing this weapon every five seconds. And since your skill is also hitting the enemies, you have this buff active at all times. Now, you don't have to use the named weapon. You could just uh, use a normal in sync talent, which is actually 10% less, like 30% instead of 40%. So you could just use a weapon, any favorite weapon you have, you can just use. Uh, Insync talent on it should be fine. Having the capacitor is absolutely amazing because it's just too good for a skill build or a hybrid build. So capacitor is pretty much a must-have. But if you don't have it, don't stress it. Uh, you could just some simply use a weapon with Insync talent on it. Or if you're feeling lazy enough, you can use a weapon with uh, spike talent. Or not just lazy means if you're uh, in a situation where you're pinned down and you cannot peek to get kills or you know shoot your weapon you could just uh, use the spike talent and if you're using the technician specialization then you're in luck because you get a pistol that gives you perfect spike talent uh, you can also get a rifle with perfect spike talent uh, but you could just use a normal spike talent on your weapon as well which is pretty much a 25 percent of skill damage for 15 seconds you just have to land a headshot and that's it just the headshot no kills required just the headshot you get that skill damage you can sit in cover and let your skill take care of everything which is you know a pretty good thing now, as for the other exotic that I have is my holster, which is a waveform holster. Now, this is pretty much a set and forget holster for your skill build because you don't have to worry about it. You just wear the holster and that's it. Every 10 seconds, it's going to give any one of your skills a 30% of skill damage boost, whether it's the left skill or the right skill, okay? There will be an arrow indicator which shows which skill is buffed up. So it, if it's on the left side, the left skill has 30% a skill damage on the right side fully build up then your right skill has 30 percent of uh, skill damage so like i said it's a set and forget don't have to worry about it but if you don't have the holster it's okay you can use something like a hana yu because uh you know using two pieces of hana yu does provide you with 10 percent of skill haste and 10 percent of skill damage so that's a great choice there if you're using the artillery turret a lot then you could just go with two piece of grupo because grupo two piece now after the update is buffed up and it gives you 20% of explosion damage instead of 15%. But you do need a Grupo uh, piece with like skill damage status effect or something like that. So you can change the weapon damage to skill tier. So you have to keep that in mind. Now as for the chess piece, I'm using one piece of Wyvernware, which gives us 10% of skill damage. I have the Kinetic Momentum talent here. Uh, this is obviously a great talent to use, especially on a drone and turret combination. But if you're using something like a Hive or a Chem Launcher, I wouldn't recommend using the talent because the moment you use one of the charges of your hive or chem launcher you lose pretty much 50 percent of the buff uh, at that point i would recommend you could use something like glass cannon but if you're a new player uh, you might not be familiar with the position of enemy spawns location and stuff like that 
So you might die a lot by using glass cannon because you do take a lot of damage with this. But if you can get around with it somehow, just be in cover most of the time, then glass cannon would be a great choice because it's a 25% amplified damage. If you want to buff your group and obviously yourself, you can just stay in cover with overwatch talent and uh, you get weapon and skill damage to 12%, which is great. Uh, you can make a cover to cover move and the buff still stays with you. So if you want to switch cover, you could do it like that. Uh, you could also use spotter, but it requires a pulse. It is amplified damage for your weapon and skill damage for 15%. I mean, by 15%. So that's a great thing. But you do need a pulse. With the technician specialization, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, because the technician specialization does give you the laser pointer. So you could just pretty much point and pulse everyone with that. So these are the chess piece talent I would recommend. All right. Now, after my first variant, I have this one. This is what I use a lot. This is a weird true patriot skill build, but it works absolutely perfectly. I do have a separate video on this, so I would recommend you to watch it uh, to know more about it and how much damage you're going to do and stuff like that. I will link it in the description as well as in the comment section. Don't worry about it. But hey, I'm not leaving you hanging. I'm going to give you a little bit brief what this build is capable of. Well, it's a true Patriot build. As you can see, it's a skill build. We do have the technician specialization because, you know, technician is giving us so much stuff, extra skill tier and stuff like that. And that's the reason why I'm using the setup backpack, which has the blue core here. So we don't have to worry about uh, a skill tier loss here because technician is giving us. So we still have six skill tier. A, a perfectly opportunistic talent gives us that 15% of extra damage from pretty much all sources. And it applies to not you, but for your entire group. The theme of this build to not just buff your damage but your entire group damage who are most likely not using a skill build but like a dps build or something so they'll do even more damage so yeah this is that uh, straight up damage which you can easily proc with your scorpio by spamming it and pretty much that's how you play with this build your skill and turret is also going to get those buffs so don't worry about it you're also doing really good damage now for the chest piece i went with the wyvern wear which is you know skill uh, skill damage 10 percent we do have the overwatch talent here we're gonna sit in cover we're gonna give weapon and skill damage to not only ourselves but also to the entire group so basically buffing the entire group there with this now for the true patriot uh well we do get more ammo and magazine size which is nice for our shotgun because shotgun don't have that much ammo anyway but the four piece is where all the magic happens because we do get that red white and blue talent so when you have the red on the enemies you're doing 8% amplified damage. They take 8% amplified damage means it works for your group members. So your group member is also doing 8% amplified damage to enemies that are marked with red flag. And when they're marked with blue flag, well, the enemies are doing 8% less damage to you and your group members. And the enemies that are marked with white flag, if you hit them, you get armor back. And if all of the three flags are active on the enemies, you get all the buff from them and also when you take them down they explode which is pretty good it looks amazing it's like a fireworks so that now what you need is four pieces of true patriot with skill damage as an attribute and change the core to skill tier and that's it that's pretty simple that's how you make it okay scorpio set up four piece true patriot wyvern bear with overwatch that's it uh, just use uh, drone and turret or any other skill if you want the weapon another one that that i have is the king breaker because you know we got flat line here perfect flat line uh, which, uh, you know, amplifies your damage against pulse enemies. I do have the laser pointer here from the technician specialization. So basically when I point, I pulse all the enemies and that's pretty helpful, you know, to identify their location as well. Again, watch the in-depth guide of the video that I made it. I'll link it. You'll know how much damage this does. Go check that out. All right. Now, as for the other variant that I do have over here, again, it looks like a weird build, but honestly, it works. I do have a separate video of this build as well. And I would, again, recommend you to check that out if you want to know more in depth about the build, you know, how much damage I do. It's actually a lot of damage. Like we can hit more than 400K, close to 500K actually with the turret with this particular setup. I recently made this build and I know a lot of you guys watched it and you liked it. So I, again, I am showing you over here for especially new players if you want to use it because it's simple to make again it's gear set so gear sets are very simple to use right we do have the capacitor here again capacitor is a very good weapon uh if you have it you have to use it this is just amazing weapon so that's why i'm putting here but you could just use a normal high-end weapon or named weapon you know uh with uh, insane talent or you know like i said spike talent you could definitely use those and we're definitely using the technician specialization here as well uh now we're using ongoing directive if you haven't you know guessed it by looking at it uh, the ongoing directive does gives us the hollow point ammo and we're taking kind of advantage of that uh, we just need the hollow point ammo on our weapon and as long as we have the ammo on our weapon we'll do insane damage with our skill 
I don't know how it works, but it works, okay? It, it definitely works like that. So it even if it says that amplifies your weapon damage, but it works on your skill, uh, which is kind of funny. So that's pretty much what we're taking advantage over here. All you need is four pieces of ongoing directive with skill damage, change uh, the core to skills here, and you're good to go. Now, we're using uh, a blue core over here because, you know, a technician gives us six skills here. So we don't want to waste the extra skill tier there. You can also add weapon damage over there if you want. For the chest piece, I went with Wyvern Wear again with skill damage uh, for, ten, uh, for for the set bonus there. And we got the kinetic momentum talent here. You can also use glass cannon if you want or, you know, spotter, you know, even overwatch and stuff like that. It's totally up to you. But I chose kinetic momentum over here right now. Now, for the backpack, I have a Hanayu, the named one, which is Force Multiplier. Again, this backpack is currently available to purchase in this week in the vendor. So go get this. And uh, now this one, honestly, I have a little bit of a hesitation to use it. I, I would recommend something other as well, like tech support or shock and awe talent. Uh, I would I would recommend those talent than the combined arms because with this, you have to fire your weapon every three seconds, which I don't recommend to do that with the hollow point ammo. Because if you don't get the kill with your weapon, you lose your ammo and you lose your buff. When you lose your buff, the build becomes useless. Uh, so you want to preserve the ammo on your weapon. You don't fire your weapon that often. You just fire the weapon a little bit to keep the capacitor stacks. That's it. Every like one shot in a few seconds, you do that. Just one bullet and make sure you're tagging the enemies with your hollow point ammo so they get that red icon on top of their head. And once your skill takes those enemies down, you get your hollow point ammo refreshed. So you have pretty much unlimited ammo. So if you keep firing your weapon constantly and not killing your targets with your weapon or your skill, you will lose the hollow point ammo and you don't want that. So that's the only thing you have to keep in mind. Uh, just make sure you have hollow point ammo at all times on your weapon and your skills will do insane amount of damage, like close to 500k, honestly, with this turret. Like go check that video out. You'll see how much damage I was doing. It was pretty insane uh, with this uh, with this build. So these are some of my weird skill builds that I do like to use a lot nowadays. And I like them because they're a bit different than what everybody usually runs. Uh, and also for new players, it shouldn't be a problem to make them because I already mentioned that exotics is not really a necessary need for you in this build. You can use it totally without exotic. But if you have exotic, then definitely that helps you out. It's like a plus point for you, uh, especially something like the capacitor weapon. It's absolutely an amazing weapon for pretty much any skill build. So if you have it, then that's a great choice. Skill builds can be made in many different ways, like something like a hardware is also a great skill build. There's many ways you can build a skill build, basically. Uh, I just showed you these ones because I kind of find them really uh, interesting to use and it's very fun to use at, at the same time uh, and also if you want to know more about these builds i already told you you can watch their separate videos i will link them uh so don't worry you can find them and so yeah that's pretty much it for the video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did leave a like subscribe if you want and do let me know your thoughts in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next one till then peace